Okay, a few more uh, points with regard to personnel security. Uh, these are some principles which um, uh, are not just limited to personnel security. They, they extend to uh, a, a lot of our activity in security in general, but um, they, they are particularly appropriate here, so we'll introduce them here, and you'll see them pop up again as, as we get around to, to other uh, areas. Um, separation of duties is an, an interesting one, and uh, I mentioned the auditors um, and the fact that they need to be uh, separate from um, security operations and IT operations. Uh, this is because of the, the concept of separation of duties that says um, the person who is doing the, the activity should not be the person who is checking the activity. That's, I mean, this comes back in, in a lot of ways. I, I talked about, uh, uh, and when I talked about our auditors, I talked about writing books. You can't edit your own stuff. You you automatically um, uh, sort of correct, mentally correct any errors that you find and, and you don't even notice them. Um, so, uh, you know, that's, that's one part of it. And of course, in, in regard to uh, actual security and, you know, if, if somebody is trying to defraud you, you don't want the person who is... Uh, performing the fraud, uh, the person who is actually checking on whether or not fraud is happening. And I, I mean, you know, there's been some interesting uh, examples of this in, in a variety of situations. Uh, uh, there was somebody in, uh, uh, I think it was the FBI, who, who was spying for the Russians, and uh, he was actually the person in charge of, uh, you know, uh, counterintelligence, in other words, catching spies. So, you know, they had the, the guy who was in charge of finding spies was actually spying on them. Uh, so, interesting situation there. Uh, so, I, you know, but separation of duties. Now, the interesting thing is that this, uh, you know, sounds like an obvious one for personnel security. In it, The principle actually arose out of a more technical aspect. And... Uh, uh, I believe it's the Clark Wilson model. We'll talk about when we, we talk about formal models um, in terms of, of databases and uh, 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 data security and, and the uh, formal uh, models there. So, um, and, and in that case, it was saying, you know, the, the process that is performing the action should not be the same process that is, is checking on whether the action is, is being performed properly. So, uh, yeah. Um, anyway, uh, spent a lot of time on separation of duties there. Um, least privilege. Give your people the least privilege and, and your processes. The least privilege is that they need to perform the function they need to do. Job rotation. Um, really good uh, for a variety of reasons. Uh, promotes cross training and uh, all that kind of good stuff. But you know, job rotation, rotating somebody out again. If someone else is coming in and performing their job, they're going to find it harder to uh, uh, do any kind of fraud. Um, and mandatory vacations are a good way to enforce job rotation. So you know, uh, again, you know, different principles uh, that we have uh, for personnel security that do run into other uh, types of things. Now, now, of course, mandatory vacations that do well in systems. But, yeah, um, the uh, job rotation in, in terms of system function is um, a good aspect in, in terms of uh, business continuity. What are you going to do? Is there another system that can perform some of the functions that uh, 
you know, a, a given system is doing? Or does that one system, is, is that the only thing? Is that the only uh, source of, of that particular function? Um, you know, we, we need to, to address those types of things. And, uh, uh, you know, like I say, you know, least privilege is, is not just for people, it's for uh, the systems as well. So, so look at these personnel security concepts in terms of your systems as well. You know, what are other, uh, you know, uh, technologies uh, uh, that can benefit from the same principles that we are using with our people. Anywho.